Today we're going to make a window for a hunting blind. And if you look here, I got basically four pieces cut out here. And uh, the first one is two pieces of angle aluminum, inch and a half by inch and a half by one eighth thick aluminum. Um, I cut these three foot three long. And the reason is, is once I put the inch and a half on each side, it's going to subtract three inches and and that's it'll be an even three feet so it's going to be a three feet by 10 inch window so i have two of these at 10 inches and then i also have this track here and what we're going to do is this is this is made for you can actually buy this in either quarter inch or one eight track and uh at the end of my video i'll uh i'll post where to buy these very inexpensive to make uh, you just got to find uh, somewhere to buy the aluminum and what we're going to do ultimately this window is going to sit in a hole and just screw on the outside and then we're going to put this track in here and the windows will just slide inside of it and that will allow a really smooth operation and uh, I made some windows before uh, totally out of wood and they worked however the problem is with moisture and so forth they swelled up couldn't budge the windows at that point even though i had routed them out even bigger and i thought everything was going to work but they didn't they just wouldn't work because of the uh of the expansion so hopefully this will this will keep from expanding and moisture it shouldn't shouldn't expand at all because it is a solid plastic and you have aluminum so uh, you won't you won't have to deal with the moisture issues and just a real smooth operation and that way uh, deer come in you don't spook them or anything like that so I'm gonna take you through this and uh, we're gonna TIG weld the aluminum together and uh, then we'll I'll show you how easy it is it's gonna be to mount recording now all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna weld up these windows uh, as I said, it's inch and a half by inch and a half. I'm using a shelf bracket clamped and I'm going to TIG weld these up. And after that, we'll uh, put in the track. All right, you're going to notice here we got the frame. We already got to weld it up. Everything's ready to go. Now, all we've got to do is just put this track in here. Now, this track is plastic and this is aluminum. But uh, we still got to cut it to length. As you can see, it's longer. We came up with 35 and uh, 15 sixteenths for the cut. So uh, we're going to cut these real quick. All right, I got all four corners cut, as you can see. And there's some this one. Now all I'm going to do is just go ahead and TIG weld this right up in here. And that way it holds real good. All right, guys. Um, here's the track. And like I said, it's plastic. So... I can't weld it uh, directly so what I did is I made these spacers from here to here and I'm gonna put them put it inside the track and it holds the track in place and then I'm just gonna weld tack weld them in and I put one on each end so offset one on the inside one on the outside and then I can just put the glass in here and we can weld them up okay as I said we got it welded up uh, welded just two tacks small tacks and the reason why is you look closely that, that plastic started to want to melt and I cooled it right after I welded it so it wouldn't melt and then on this side I just put one in the center just to give it their strength on this side I put two on here and then put one over here and then uh, so the, the weld up's done and you can see how that's going to work now if I take the glass and I'm just going to set my camera here you guys can see it. So if I take my glass, I can set my glass up in there, fix the glass, pop it down. And then you'll see, look how smooth, smooth that is. You don't have to worry about expansion and contraction uh, with it or anything. And so it really is a, is a uh, much a better window than the ones I made out of wood. And so, and they're of course replaceable. Now you notice this plexiglass has uh, had a film on it. It's been on there so long that uh, I really got to clean that. So I'm going to clean that up. 
I'm gonna clean up the frame and everything and then uh, uh, I'll show you the show you the final product and then I'll also post where I bought bought this pexi glass I had bought I think you can get that at any any Home Depot or something you just gonna have to look around I actually got this off a guy selling it because he was working on a greenhouse that he never done so um, but you should be able to find that just about anywhere but you can see how easy it is and smooth it is it's real it's easy so for hunting you just slide it open real nice it's real quiet if you go real slow so real real nice to work with okay guys here's the window it's kind of cleaned up cleared off the glass and as you can see right here it was real smooth